Hey guys, today we're back on the 64 Ford Falcon and we're gonna take care of this mess. All right, first thing we have to do for this pinion seal leak is we have to take these retainer caps off the U-joints, pull the drive shaft out. After that's out, get the nut off the pinion, tap the pinion out, and then we'll be able to change our seal. Okay, first things first, we're gonna have to take these nuts off so we can release the straps for the U-joint and kind of pry up on the U-joint, move it forward, take it out. And then there's a nut that holds on the yoke. We're gonna release the nut, tap our yoke out, and then we'll be able to get to the seal. All right, when you have the four little nuts off, in this case, they these were 716 size, make your straps loose, back them off a little bit, tap them out, and then get yourself a little pry bar, and then in between here and here, your U joint and your pinion, give it a little scoot forward. At that point, you'll be able to release the straps that hold the U-joint in on either side, or at least on one side. Be able to shove the drive shaft forward enough, ever so gracefully. And pop it down and out of the way. Now you don't need to take it out of the transmission. You can just let it hang for the minute and that's fine. Just, you know, it's greasy grimy, so just don't get it all over yourself. Okay, the second thing we need to do, and let's make sure it's not too backlit, is right there, this pinion nut. We need to go ahead and Get all the crap off there, get that pinion nut off so we can take this part, the pinion out, to change the seal. And like a lot of times with these older cars, even though we put our impact and our big breaker bar on it, this nut still doesn't want to break loose, so we're going to put some heat on it and try it again. Blind, so it goes back in the same place. <clears throat> the seal 
is up inside there. Kind of this part. And we're gonna tap that out and go get our new one. Okay, we managed to pop our seal out. The housing looks like with no seal. The seal itself is here. Big O-ring and we just tapped it out with a screwdriver and a hammer. If you're doing this for the first time, never did this before, you might want to go rent yourself a nice seal puller. It makes the job a little easier, but either way it can get done. Now let's go get our new seal. Okay, so we went and we got our opinion seal. Here's what the new one looks like. It's kind of a seal inside of a seal. Here's the part that sits outside. This resets into the housing, this little bevel, and it sits flush with here. So what we need to do now, go ahead and place this up here, flat as possible. And what we're using for an install tool is a header flange, actually. Uh, fits the outside of this seal perfectly. And then we just tap her in. And you want to feel it all the way around. Make sure it's flush and kind of here. The difference when it seats. Nice ring to it. That's it. Real easy. Now, okay, now we take our cleaned up flange which we had pre-marked, like we showed you in the earlier. And we install our flange. To where those are two are just about touching. We'll go ahead and we're gonna get our nut. And before we reinstall our pinion nut, a little Loctite on it. Okay, and let me show you here. What we did is we ran down our nut, counted the threads when we took it off, counted the threads when we put it on and pre-lined it up with our marks that we made before we took the nut off. Now, some of you are probably going to say, well, that's not right, or you, know, you should do this, you should do that, you should, you know, take everything apart, take the wheels off, do the, count the inch pounds of the bolts as it's rotating the axle, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, 60 year old car, 160 some thousand miles, well worn, and maybe 80 horsepower. It's not that big a deal. If you're just doing an old car like this, you need to redo the seal, count your threads out, count your threads in, make your mark, put the nut back where it was, you'll be in good shape. Now, all we have to do for this one is we have to put our drive shaft back in and All we're going to need to do for this one is put our drive shaft back in and this is set. But since we have this kind of a part, what we're going to do next video, we're going to go to the other side of the rear diff. We're going to reseal the rear cover, making sure all these leaks were coming from the pinion seal and not the rear cover. But that's next video. All right, guys, thanks for coming. We'll see you next time.
around your bolt holes, make, make sure they all seal up nice, especially on the bottom. 